Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our No Shots campaign where we're trying to beat the game on legendary arm and difficulty without firing a single shot or using a single bit of explosives. It's time for Operation Shadow Mother where we are uh, hopefully going to get another scientist and the intel for further expansion. We're doing okay. So far it's month number four, so the force level just increased. Theoretically mutants can be um, around the corner now. But we got a pretty decent team overall, I would say. So yeah, we might be able to do it. Hogbite for once is out of order. And that's okay. I think, hmm, is it okay? I don't know. Is it really okay? Hmm. Gotta rescue the VIP. Let's try it without Hogbite. We got Zuhuger and we got Sonar. Both of them do have enemy protocol, so we can deal with heavier opposition. Make utility items available. Yes, please. Who is taking the second med kit? Oh wow, okay, the second med kit is unfortunately on our covert ops mission. Uh, well, not optimal. We gotta re we gotta stick with the supplies because I want to build the Psi chamber. Which means we gotta deal with what we have, guys. And it is really, really, really depressing to see so many open slots and we can't fill them with uh, something meaningful because we don't have the money. But eventually, over time, we will. For now, this is the best team that we can field. It might not be much for others, but it will just be good enough for us, hopefully. Okay. Let's just hope that this year is not going to be too much of a hassle and that we can sort of get out of this easy. Richter moves up. Well, we gotta move all the way over there. That's gonna be a long journey. Probably taking the low... Well, Probably taking the high ground here. Since we don't have too much time. Oh, okay. Look at that. If we had just jumped down, we would have been in the good old civilian trap. Alright, Sir Kim. Moves up to the very front. Quick feet. Also moves up to the very front. And judge. I will just let her stand in the open for now. Typically not my style, but we're gonna be fine, I hope. There's nothing that could spot us out and unless something is just charging in okay perfect good let's take the high ground shall we sue cougar has teamwork together here okay so it is by the way tempting to simply take the low ground and try to sort of weasel our way out of here. <sighs> Not good. Not good at all. Heading to that location. Trying to move around. Mutants can retaliate, so... The last thing that you would want to do is just charge into them with a melee attack. On the move. 
And I'm not even sure how we're going to deal with them. Because the little pro combat protocol might not be enough to, to um, get them completely down. Typically you can um, use a flashbang to disorient uh, them. And this, as a disoriented mutant, they cannot retaliate on your attacks. But, but uh, we can't use flashbangs, right? Gotta get this guy, gotta get to here, gotta get in, gotta get out. And the mutant is sort of in the way, so it's hard to justify to not kill this guy. Good. We're simply charging in like madmen at this point. Trying to find kind of an angle where the mutant will not be in our way. Problem is we also don't have Bladestorm yet. Bladestorm would be a nice retaliating attack and the mutant essentially cannot again retaliate to a retaliation attack. That's not how it works elsewise. There would be a, an infinite loop of retaliation. So that's usually why um, when you're dealing with them and you only have melee you kind of go very close and hope that you can um, trigger a blade storm before they are going to attack you. Most often, if you're standing next to them, they want to melee you, and that's fine. That is not bad. That is even better, but that is a pretty bad feedback. So yeah, we do have a chance Regain actions if needed. Yeah. All right, move and judge up here. Roger that. And let us maybe find out if there is anything that we should be aware of right up here? The answer is there is not. Good to go. On it. This is a campaign with a surprising amount of tension. I mean, boy oh boy. This is a pretty intense mission without hogbite i'm just hoping to get to get through it the first pack is already one that we can't deal with so is there a letter yeah there is a letter up here our idea will be taking the letter and just getting the hell out of here Let's blue move first. No one's there. Okay, very good. Rolling out. Quick feet is exactly doing what his name would suggest. Rushing in with quick feet. And Zukuger is taking the back for now. I think I heard something. All right, we can already hear that there is movement inside. I have eyes on the enemy. Uh, 
That's a pretty nasty pack as well. I guess question of the day is do we want to trigger them? Yes, no, maybe. And luckily we got battle scanners. Okay, fair enough. So we got three right there. Okay, so I was just thinking how would we engage the pack in a most optimal fashion. Even if we play our cards right, this is going to be a really, really, really tough pack, right? Hmm. Okay, someone's got to start triggering them. And Sonar Insane cannot be that someone. Let's move over here and see how they are going to position themselves. We don't have the ability to uh, blade storm, so there was really no other good play. Fifty-nine percent. Okay. Okay. Let's start with killing the mech. Unfortunately, we need to go pretty f deep into the enemy territory in order to do that. Nice, very nice. Moving up, that was one enemy protocol, and that's the second enemy protocol. Very good. Okay, we got another teamwork here. We got a combat protocol if needed. So let's begin with the obvious. We can only uh, just as pull this guy 60%. Alternatively, we could like grapple up, but that e might even be a bad decision for us. So we're trying to pull him closer. There you go. Now, moving up. Let's start with killing the Stun Lancer. There we go. And we're continuing with dealing with the Snake. Blade Master did not fully kill. Which means we need to teamwork our way out of it in order to prevent retaliation uh, retaliations from happening. And we have a pretty strange kind of distribution. Um, definitely our positioning is, is off. And this here is not good at all. Not good at all. How much damage does enemy protocol deal to to them? We're looking at what? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. We got two charges and two charges, that's eight points of damage. Can't even kill it. Can't even kill it. Ridiculous. Um
bypassing security. All right, we could get immunity with a 50% chance. I don't like the odds, but it's probably the only thing that we can do at this point before starting it, though. I would like to move over here. Can we hack from there? We cannot, right? Uh, that's a difficult decision like standing here might not allow us to hack it but it might allow us to hack it who knows i mean this here is the best shot that i can give it we got a few uh, potential targets that could take uh, could do the hack Can't really move in and out. That is a problem. So what are we going to do? We could theoretically wrap ourselves up here. And then this here would be kind of a pulling a fast one. Securing entry point. It's not the greatest. Cover facility lead. Okay, let's think that through. I like the option to maybe recover the facility lead actually. So we could afterwards charge out here or even better just take the rooftop and be done with it. I'm not so terribly concerned about this guy here. I am concerned about the mutant though. So let's... Let's give it a try and see if we can bait with complete immunity. Come on. All right, so he's going to be our bait. Got it. Very good. Zoo Cougar just begins to charge. Nothing else. Mutant could move up. We don't want that. All right, in sonar. Sona, maybe. How can we place him in a way that he's still interesting for both of them? Oh, I know. We could basically place him right up here. And that would potentially even allow him to get out of here. Are we going to open it yet? Hmm. Really difficult decision because I... I would like to get 
or at least have a chance to get uh, that facility lead. But on the other hand, I also would like to win the mission without losing anyone. How would that work? Next round we would hack and then move up and still need a full, full other round to get out of here. That's a lot of time. Can we evacuate everyone in the next round though? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe, not even sure if we can get out of here in one round. Maybe, and yeah, Zukuger certainly not. So, we're going to hunker down. I want to give it a try. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Accessing system. Oh boy. Well, at least we have a chance to get the facility lead. Come on. Very nice. Got rewarded for that. I mean, yeah, we could get Comet Protocol, right? Got the Overwatch still. Good position ourselves sort of up here, which is out of line of sight and then sprint all the way next turn. We'll do. Zir can begins to charge up, uh, charge up. Quick feed does exactly the same. Let's open the door. Ah, that would be suicidal. Well, how are we going to deal with that? Great question. A confident approach. She would definitely get out of here. VIP, not so sure. What's the play, Saiken? What is the play? Hmm, what am I not seeing? Is there a letter? No. There's one here. That's the only way up. This one here potentially, but that requires you to jump through the window and kind of get up there. I could go down that way. Basically charge all the way behind here and then return that's one option the other one is to move up to here that's a difficult decision probably not a good idea we can move into 
into the target with just being where we are. Problem is still the overwatch. We could April call ourselves. And even combat protocol. To remove uh, the overwatch if needed. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, I'm just not seeing how this year will be successful. Because we got one, two, three, four enemies, and they will probably all jump onto the VIP, right? Could move him to here, which they don't know that he's there. The view distance is not high enough. And I think that from here to here should be doable in one turn. Risky, but it is an out of line of sight play. Moving further, good. Going to give Sonar here eight protocol himself. And should we just hunker down on top of it? That would be hilarious. We can't kill either either of these guys, right? So if we hunker down, we're immune. But boy, oh boy, are we a difficult target to hit. Let's do that. Yeah, that's not going to work, buddy. Not into hunker down. Not into hunker down. Okay, cool. This should trigger the Overwatch. Hopefully. Ouch. Luckily, Overwatch cannot crit. Nice, we can get out of here. VIP just barely can get out of here, thanks to the live side play. Oh boy, I hate finishing missions like this, but what are you going to do, right? Can't kill the mutant, can't really deal with the amount of enemies. Well, the second pack actually we could have killed, but the mutant pack, no way. Just immune to what we're trying to do. Very good. So that was a successful mission, although we're, we've taken some injuries. We don't need a poster here. Those guys are now bonded. Very good. Very good. And we got ourselves a facility lead, I almost forgot about that, on top, which is fantastic because that will allow us that will allow us to research it and we don't need to expand and still can keep the avatar progress at bay. Wonderful, that's super helpful. Intel, thank you, but no thank you. We're taking the engineer for now. And that is finally our fifth engineer, meaning we can 
actions have indicated they know how to track down the chosen. We should start clearing out here. So they have a place to coordinate. Eight more days for a school check. Perfect. Are we requiring the supply drop? Probably not yet. Faster healing is always appreciated. Intel certainly is appreciated. Let's see if we can sell something. Trooper's Corpse. Uh, yeah, there you go. You Advent Max. That's fine. Yeah, we can sell the laser um, side. I'll keep the expanded magazines just in case they become interested because then it's 20 a pop and that would be f very helpful for us. Yeah, I think we're okay. Got enough supplies to even upgrade the skirmisher weapon. It's 45. You know, let's not do that. He, uh, she is currently unable to participate anyways. And we need 250. We need 250 um, to, to build the psionic lab. So I'm still sticking with that idea. I think it's not bad. We got to require some additional intel for research purpose for the facility lead. And there's our power relay. Fantastic. That was just what we have been waiting for. As of now, we can build the Psy lab insufficient power. Are you kidding me? All right, upgrading it. And then we require additional Yep. Okay, we require 80 more. Didn't want to staff an engineer there. Not yet. Not if we can simply upgrade it. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Okay, so we're going to Sell the magazines. And we're going to sell a few of the cores. Let's get rid of that. And that just basically brought us to 250 selling everything but the kitchen sink there is the psi lab seventy days and we can hopefully start by training relatively soon afterwards Good, that's an actual Psy Rush. The the whole um, challenge, why I like the challenge so much is it forces you to really go for a Psy Rush. Future Combat, uh, GTS training, no thank you, we don't need that. Experimental weapons would be great. Facility breakdown isn't bad let's just do that suck up the cost it is what it is with the intel that we're now researching we will be able to stomach it oh we need two towers up here even wow but if we were to do that it's a 20 percent uh, boost in research time so that's not bad, which means we're going to do that. That's a free laboratory just as a 
Continent Bonus. Double Agent. Yeah, not so good in this run. Machine Learning. Breakthroughs are nice. Breakthroughs are nice, so might as well take those. Another important step forward in our research. Good. East Asia facilities unlocked. You gotta think though that the East Asian facility unfortunately also contains the cho uh, the um, alien ruler, and I have no idea how we want to beat that guy. Not yet. Okay, so got a Viper autopsy available. Yeah, we're probably going for experimental weapons because I want the axe. It's a pretty damn good weapon and it will help us help out in some of the instances where we just need more damage for a single round. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. And there we go. So what do we have available? We got um, a pretty simple mission with a lot of um, with a lot of losts. We got a mission that interests me quite a bit with 101 intel so that we can expand. And we got another mission with an engineer, which is countering undying loyalty. So that's what we're going to do. Because boy, boy, do I not want to play with undying loyalty. And the engineer is a nice, is a nice um, extra gimmick that would bring us to six engineers. We could use that in order to clear the debris here. That's fine. We will also need it once this here is freed up. We're going to build another um, another um, energy core, and then we either unlock the alien debris down here, or we're unlocking uh, this hopefully very soon. So yeah, we we need to we need to excavate a bit faster, really because there are a couple of buildings that are now starting to really suck uh, that we're missing them the resistance ring uh, most noticeably and for expansion purpose i also want more context so that's fine psylab is already good uh, but uh yeah we're on the right track um the build order is now falling a tiny bit behind the um power curve so got to make sure that we're staying on top of the strategy layer and not make it too difficult for ourselves. And uh, yeah, so school jack very soon is going to be available. Once we're done with the school jack, we can uh, continue building more uh, school jacks for school mining. So that would be helpful. Um, and they are also increasing the hacking capabilities of our specialists. So that'll give us some more um, availability of killing things. What else could we do? Spider suits aren't bad. I talked about them earlier. And that's pretty much what we can build at the moment. Ammunition really doesn't help us. Grenades uh, do not help us either. I am looking for vests. So gotta, uh, gotta get a chrysalid maybe. <clears throat> That could be an option or yeah any other vests improved um, troopers could be a thing so that we uh, no it's shield bearers actually shield bearers could be a thing so that we can get uh, the armored vest uh, for for armor and hit points that's not too bad the hazmat vest might be good as well uh, due to immunity to environmental effects so that we just don't need to care for uh, fire or yeah literally any poison so maybe we're going to go down that route but um, yeah that requires chrysalids and boy boy do I not want to fight chrysalids yet chrysalids will be uh, like in this run chrysalids will probably be pretty binary either they are overpowering which is if your troops are too low or they become trivial 
which is once they the troops have hit kind of captain and above a level and um, uh, and uh, blade storm becomes readily available we're just clustering up they are going to charge at us and they are going to take like whoosh 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 two or three hits um, and uh, not making them real challenges anyways we got hogbite available we got a few actually quite a few rangers available for the next mission and we got sonar available so yeah the next mission should be good very good um i'm looking forward for that anyways this brings us to the end of today's uh, run thank you so much for watching if you enjoy what you've seen feel free to leave a positive comment uh, down below that helps the channel grow and um, see you in two days bye bye